Uh, Fran, on the, the last free throw there, uh, did you did you want him to, to miss it on purpose or was it? No, I told him to make it. We we discussed missing it. That's a tough call. Just what I think it was five point two, Scott. You know, you make it, you foul. Now he's got to make both. Uh, you know. Uh, that's a tough call. I mean, there are two big guys in there trying to, you know, get a tip or get a rebound. Uh, and, you know, I told him to make it. Frank, can you talk about your decision um, in the second half to go primarily with a lot of your reserves and your bench guys and the kind of lift that they gave you during those stretches? You know, it, it's interesting. I mean, it's kind of been how our season's gone. Uh, I mean, every game, there, there's different people that seem to click, and that's who I go with. You know, I'm playing 10. You know, I, I think most coaches would prefer to have their core group of guys that they just go with. But with our team, we have we have such a different mixture of skills that you know we, we get that lineup that's on the floor and they're clicking. We just stay with them. Sometimes it's a big lineup. Sometimes it's small. Sometimes it's our starters. Sometimes it's our reserves. I mean, we started, the group that started did a pretty decent job. We went to the bench and they struggled. We put the starters back in, they got us back in the game. And then in the second half, it was our subs. So, I mean, I, I, think, I think it's a good thing to have. But it, it's, it's kind of unique because what ends up happening, sometimes you go down the stretch and you don't have guys that are in roles that they normally are in and ready to do something. Yeah, and there were so many things that happened in the two overtimes. But I'm just curious, if, from your perspective, you're up nine about four minutes left of regulation, do you think you should be able to put that away and not even go to the first overtime? Well, you know, we had two breakdowns immediately. A breakdown on the inbounds play, Russ hits the three, and then a breakdown on the back cut, you know, the Salvi fouls Evans. I mean, you, 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 can't, you can't give him that one. If you got a foul, you shoot 40% from the line. If you back cut, you got a foul before he shoots it. See if you can make both. Probably going to make one at best a different game. You know, so that was unfortunate because that changed everything because that made it a one possession game very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Fran, Fran uh, the end of regulation, Jackson takes a three that hits the front of the rim, kisses off the glass, goes in. Josh takes a three that's halfway down and comes out. Does that kind of symbolize what's been going on lately with your team? Yeah, I, I don't think there's any question about that, Rick. I mean, it's kind of been how our season's gone. Uh, you know, and it's unfortunate, you know. At the same time, we missed 49 shots. We shoot 20. We almost, we almost missed 50 shots. 25 for 74. We, we got to start making some shots. We had great looks at it. It's another reason why we go with with different lineups because we have to find guys that are going to score. What are your overriding emotions right now? I don't get that emotional one way or the other. I just don't. Uh, that said, I mean, I want it for for them. I, you know. I'm hurting for them. For me, it's a very business-like approach. If we had won in double overtime, if we had won on Sunday, if we had won at Purdue in overtime, it, nothing changes for me. It's on to the next game, it's locked in, it's getting these guys ready to play the next game. Uh, I, I fully recognize that for them, the emotional ups and downs are going to be a little bit different. You know, I've been doing this long enough, I, I don't get involved in that. But I am hurting for them. Question mark. Yeah. Brad, what bothered you in the first half that the refs gave you the technical? And on the second part of that, do you like how your team seemed to respond from that? Seemed they had more energy after yeah, that. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. You know, most of the time over the years when I've gotten technicals and I've gotten them on purpose, that one I wasn't getting on purpose. And I was, I was complaining about something very legitimate, which I think would have going over a lot better if I wasn't that far out of the floor. You know, I, I just, I was, I exited the coaching box to the point where I think he had to make that call. So I understood that, uh, you know, so that, that was unfortunate, but I think you're right. I mean, we did play better after that and, and that was a good thing.